What if we didn't even need rockets to reach space? Scientists are working on space elevators, massive tethers that stretch from Earth into space, allowing payloads to climb into orbit. Well, that's just one of the ideas. Another one is magnetic launch systems. Imagine using a hyperloop style magnetic rail to launch spacecrafts instead of rockets. No fuel, just pure acceleration. That sounds pretty insane, right? But there are some limitations that stand in the way of us and a new planet for settlement. Building permanent habitats on Mars and the moon is one of the biggest challenges for space colonization. Transporting these building materials from Earth is too expensive. So scientists are working on 3D printing technology that could use local resources. Robotic 3D printers will use Martian or lunar soil to print solid structures layer by layer, reducing launch weight to Earth. They'll basically be designed to block radiation, maintain stable temperatures, and withstand harsh conditions like dust storms on Mars. There's also the gravity issue. Mars has only 38% of Earth's gravity, meaning your bones, muscles, and organs won't function the same way they do on Earth. This is extremely bad for the average human, leading to bone loss, muscle weakening, and a lot more issues. I think the best solution is to implement an artificial Earth-like gravity system within the habitats on Mars like we see in rotating space stations. By spinning, the buildings would create their own gravity using centrifugal force, keeping your bones, muscles, and circulation in check. The faster they spin, the stronger the artificial gravity. Well, now let's talk about AI on Mars. I mean, before humans set foot on Mars, the moon, or deep space, AI-powered robots will be there first. What will they do? I mean, They'll extract ice from beneath Mars' surface for drinking water and fuel production. They'll build shelter and infrastructure uh, by laying out solar panels, landing pads, and roads. And they'll also detect and repair issues before they become life-threatening. 